let's do that one after a really let's let's follow up on how we're doing before we dive into more news. Oh sure. Um, and so I'm gonna mention I saw Free Guy this weekend. Ooh. Um, actually I saw it like last week at the drive-in. I watched that in Jungle Cruise. Nice. Um, I enjoyed both, but I enjoyed Free Guy more. Um, I don't want to go too much into the plot and such of the story, but I do want to talk about it because it's kind of interesting. It was originally slated for an early 2020 release and got delayed to a couple of weeks ago. So in addition to being able to talk about like, okay, so it takes place within a video game, Free City, which is very much a GTA style thing, like GTA Online. There's the players going around causing bedlam and, you know, uh, Ryan Reynolds plays Guy, an NPC that ends up kind of achieving sentience and awareness of his circumstances in the yeah. game. Um, and it's just... I. I really enjoy the movie. I highly recommend going to go see it. It is exclusively in theaters, not on streaming. Um, and it did not try to skirt around that. Looking at you, Disney. Um, so, but the other interesting thing is that um, it also does stuff in the real world with the developers and stuff like that. Um, with a fictional game company called Tsunami. S-O-O-N-A-M-I. Tsunami. Um, and its logo is patterned kind of like the Blizzard Entertainment logo, which is kind of cool. It's it's presented as like this you know, very clean whatever. You have this boss that is just very toxic. Um, like very, you know, very uh, freewheeling. I mean, the boss is played by Taika Waititi. I don't need to say any more. You have the image in your head. Yeah. Um, but it's very interesting in the times that he starts to get... Um, abusive to some of the workforce when he talks about um, forcing out a game before it's ready, <laughs> when he talks about um, going back on uh, promises made in publicity to fans. And it's interesting to have this very negative look at a game developer that appears to be somewhat patterned after Blizzard after the events of the past month or two with Activision Blizzard. <laughs> Uh, so that's been very interesting. Again, I don't want to go too much into spoilers, but it's just very interesting with the game coming out when it did. It kind of feels like serendipity <laughs> that it got pushed back to just after Blizzard found themselves in hot water. And then here's this um, game company that is just it, it doesn't explicitly call out things like crunch. Um, which is another thing that, uh, you know, I saw something today about um, the developers of uh, Naughty Dog, of the the developer, uh, the head of Naughty Dog talking about that, like crunch is just, oh, it's the way it is, or whatever. So it doesn't specifically call out that, but a lot of these things that if you know the gaming industry, you're like... Oh boy! And not <laughs> just because of what I've come to term on my own channel as the topical tap dance, um, but just in general <laughs> issues in the industry that it, you know, some of the stuff that it does is eerily prescient, pre, pre, mm, on the nose, um, considering when it was written and when it came out. All this stuff is just when it was written, it was an issue in the the uh, industry, and it hasn't ceased to be. Um, so, uh, I very much do recommend going to go see Free Guy. What, what are some of the, the ref? Cause I know in one of the ads I saw the Iron Giant, um, and like things like that. Other, so yeah, there's like background references to... at, at a couple points. I saw the tank from Halo just wandering a street in the background. Nice. Um, a player ends up shooting an NPC and then teabagging them. Um, like there's a bunch of stuff that like my dad asked would your mother be interested in seeing this? And I was like, I think a lot of the gaming stuff would go over her head. Um, but at the end of the day, Ryan Reynolds plays a great Ryan Reynolds character. You know, instead of the snarky kind of dirty thing, he plays an, an innocent child, which is a slight change of pace, but it's still very much a Ryan Reynolds character. Yeah. But still very enjoyable. The entire cast does great. Um... The uh, I I forget the actress's name, but Ooh. she's a British actress playing an American character that in the game has a British accent, but a different British accent. 
<laughs> um, Please don't tell me it's a Cockney accent. No, it's not. Okay, thank God. <sighs> at, one, at one point, guy is is like, yeah, with the with the with the Australian accent. No, it's 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 British. I think I would know an Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> um they uh you know the couple of the devs trying to track down guy when they first think that he's like a hacking player they you know enable god mode and stuff like that it's just it's rife with gamer culture in a good way not like you mentioned references like iron giant whatever it doesn't sell entertainment by way of references like Ready Player One is like, look, references! Aren't we having fun? Free Guy throws them in in the background. Mostly in the background. There's a little bit at the um, at the climax that is, well, we were bought by Disney, so we're going to use some Disney stuff and get some mileage out of that. And I will say no more on that. If you've seen the movie, you know. Um, like, there are some cheap laughs for references, but for the most part, it is telling its own own thing. Which, again, is what I think the best video game movies are ones that are not based on previous video games. Um, it tells its own story, making up a video game that can do what the plot needs it to do. Great movies not based upon any intellectual property but referencing video games. Movies like Tron. Movies like uh, uh, the Mario Bros. movie. You know, games that <laughs> aren't based on the games at all or any of the previous research lore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will say, uh, I, and I've mentioned this before, I think, Hardcore Henry, good video game movie. Not intended to be a video game movie, but so, I've written an article about how it's a video game movie. So, have you seen Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, uh, film? Um, I'm going to say no, but go ahead and try to figure out what the title was. Oh my god. Uh, the only Schwarzenegger film I've seen is Jingle All the Way. Okay, <laughs> this isn't the movie uh, that I was referencing then. Um, okay, but it's it's literally th- it's almost actually it's Last Action Hero. Okay, um, okay. I, I so you haven't seen Last Action Hero? Uh, I have not. Um, <laughs> logical robot saying gamer. <laughs> um, yes. Thank so you Last listening. Action Hero. That sounds a lot like the plot of Last Action Hero. Okay. <clears throat> Loosely in the idea of, except that in the in the plot of Last Action Hero, Arnold Schwarzenegger is an action movie character that is then pulled into the real world okay. and has to reconcile with it, and then is able to go back into his world and all these things. And it's 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 got some very cheeky references to its own stuff, like it references T two and okay, and yeah, like, yeah, nice. But like, I will say the beginning of um, Free Guy felt a lot like Lego Movie, and that you okay. have this guy who's just in his own life, and then something comes by and changes it. But it has that same quality of, like, look at my normal life. Although, it's it's very much, as he's going about his normal life, there's explosions behind him. There's someone par- you know, paragliding in, like, a Fortnite drop. Uh, absolutely wonderful. Like, there's a few great cameos. Um, the Rock has a cameo as a voice. Like, there's a masked character, and The Rock does the voice. So, technically, I saw two movies with D- Dwayne Johnson in it that night. <laughs> Not surprising. <laughs> uh, Logical Robot saying, uh, Gamer is great, and is one of the best Queen's Rights songs ever. Very nice. nice. Very nice. Hell yeah. Anyway, so that's Free Guy. I recommend seeing it. Um, what have you been playing? You mentioned a little bit. 